start off first of all. Let's start with uh, with last night's win. Uh, a big night for Notts. Big win. Twenty unbeaten now in the, in the league. Uh, Record breaking win. What was that like to play in? Yeah, it was a tough game to be honest with you. Um, one of the toughest I think we've had all season. Um, we weren't we weren't great for the first half. Um, they came out, they pressed really well. I think maybe we need to be a bit more savvy earlier on with, you know, leaking balls into midfield. You know, when they had fresh legs and they were pressing quite good. Um, but you know, like you say, we we broke a record that the club's held for for many many years, and it's a proud moment for the lads and the staff, you know, and, and the club as a whole. So. Uh, he said, we just got to keep pushing on and take each game as it comes. It's very cliche, but that's just the way it is at the minute. It looks like a really good squad to be to be a part of at the moment. Mm. Not only are you winning games, but there's great camaraderie amongst the squad also. Yeah, there was a few handstands going around yesterday, weren't there, for celebrations <laughs> and that. So I, I didn't really know what was going on, to be honest with you. But, uh, but no, it is a great camaraderie. It's, it's great to be a part of, you know. There's a real good feel around the club. Um, great competition for places within the squad. Um the staff here this year are, are, are brilliant, do you know what I mean? Really have brought us together from the lads who play week in, week out to lads who train really hard and really try and force their way into the squad and keep standards really high in training. So, uh, yeah, it's a really good place to be around, yeah. How's Luke Williams helping out with that as well, day to day on the training ground on a match day as well? It seems to be getting the best out of everybody. Yeah, well, the biggest thing for me with the gaffer is... Um, I seen it very, very early on. Like you know, uh, we were playing Chesterfield at home, arguably one of the biggest games of the season, and I was injured at the time. Um, I go down to do my rehab on the pitch, and every single member of staff is down there with the lads who are not in the squad. You know, the morning of the game, um, that straight away just makes you feel involved. It makes you feel part of everything that's going on. Um, lads get worked with individually by the gaffer and Ryan. Um, really, really good stuff. Good, good sessions that they put on as well that have really improved a lot of players that you can see throughout the season. And I think that just everyone feeling valued is a big thing. Um, I've played at clubs in the past. I've been in squads where, you know, people focus on the players that play week in, week out and focus more on the game and the points. And I understand that's the biggest thing. But having a team where everyone feels that they are respected, um, involved, uh, credible to what we're trying to achieve, I think that's a big thing. And that's, that's for me, is one of the biggest things that the Gaffer and Ryan have brought in this year. It looks like it. Um, going back to the uh, Ruben Rodriguez handstand, um, is it is it quite a common thing for players to uh, celebrations on the way on the way to uh, on the way to games? Yeah, well, it's not for me. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if I did a handstand like that, I'd probably slip a disc or something. So, uh, no, it's uh, for me. Like you say, obviously, we've we've got lads with big personalities and stuff, and you need that within the squad and. Obviously, internal jokes and stuff like that, that, that is good to have. You know, it brings good camaraderie with the boys. Uh, so, yeah, like you say, uh, you need these characters in your team and these flair players and stuff like that to, to, to achieve anything, really. Um, uh, so, how, how much those characters help day to day on a match day uh, when things aren't going so well and you need like, characters to, to lift the, the morale of the team going forward? Yeah, absolutely. I think everyone brings different characteristics to the team, you know, People lead by, you know, dragging people through, good communication, you know, uh, vocally. Um, others lead with their feet, do you know what I mean, and, and with their style of play. So you need to have a good mix of, of this in your squad to be able to achieve anything. You know, you need your leaders, you need your warriors, but you also need your flair players that can change the game, you know, in a blink of an eye. So, you know, this year we, we've got a very good, um, very good mix and blend of, of both sides, really, yeah. How much are you enjoying the season, Colo? I know you've been injured for uh, for a bit of, of late, but mm -hmm. you seem to be uh, straight back in, back into the squad, and it looks like you're really enjoying your football. Yeah, to, to, to be honest, obviously frustrating with a couple of freak injuries that I've picked up this season, which has kept me out for ten weeks and eight weeks uh, separately. But uh, other than that, I'm I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling I'm playing, you know, some of the best football I've played in my career under the gaffer. Um, he's really brought a different side of my game on. Um, we all know, you know, I I can defend. I, I I'm a warrior. I'll put my head in where it hurts, kind of thing. And that's been probably my forte for a long time. But the gaff has really brought me on, as in technically, um, football IQ, um, the system that he plays really suits my style of football. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's been really pleasing for me. Like you said, if you take the injuries out, um, I would have liked to have played a few more games, but. I'm feeling fresh at the minute. Um, normally, at this point of the season, I've played 25, 30 games, and 
you know, the, it starts taking its toll on your body. But I'm feeling really fresh now for a, for a good crack at a whip now towards the end of the season. Games coming thick and fast as well, starting with mm. Torquay on Saturday. Long journey down there. How's the preparation going? Yeah, so obviously we've been back in today. Uh, lads who played will recover, get their legs back underneath them, do all the recovery strategies that they need. Uh, lads who haven't played will, will have been down training and they've trained really hard. You know, they've been down there a good hour and 40 minutes. Um, and I know the gaff will be putting them through the paces. You know, I've been there coming back from injury uh, this season. Um, but yeah, it's all about now, you know, we'll, we'll taper down tomorrow, we'll have a day off, you know, spend some time with the family and that, and come back in for Friday where we will work on, obviously, footage on them and our game plan and how we're going to move forward with that and hopefully go down there and get a good result. Talking about, you talk about um, sort of having days off and getting the right um, balance of, Rest and relaxation and, and, and yeah. training time. How does Luke, how does Luke Williams help with that day today? Because you play with such high intensity mm -hmm. on a match day, and imagine training is the same as well. So how does Luke find that balance to make sure you, you give you all in training, but also have time to settle down a bit as well? Yeah, well, we we have a schedule in place, you know, weeks in advance. Um, you know, it's it's really thought about with detail with amongst the staff themselves. You know, it's it's really in detail of when we're going to rest and when we're going to work really hard on the training pitch. Um, it's vital to have a plan in place, especially in the modern game now, because uh, recovery is massive now. Uh, you see the intensity we play at and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's it's a big part of the game now. So there is a ample amount of, of rest in there. But when we're at training, we, we train hard and, and we work hard when we're here. Yeah. Looks uh, pretty intense at the top of the league. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I spoke to Luke Williams in the week and he said it's not just a two-horse race between yourselves and Wrexham. There's... Quite a few clubs in around there who are still capable of getting a, a top spot. Absolutely, yeah. You know, it's it's still a long way to go. Um, I think eighteen to go. I'm I'm not too sure at the minute. I don't really take, pay too much attention to the table. If I'm if I'm being totally honest with you, um, but yeah, like you say, we've played Woken this year. We've played Chesterfield, your Wrexhams, and the caliber of team they are. You know, they can easily pull a run together of you know five, six, seven, eight wins on the bounce, and things start to look very different very quickly. Um, but like you say, we're just concentrating on ourselves. Another cliche again, but it's it's just how football is. When you play at the very top of leagues, you can't look too far ahead because if you take your eye off the ball and you slip, you know draws are just as bad as losses when you're going for titles. So uh, we've just got to make sure we're ready for the next game, make sure we win it and move on to the next after that. There's a lot about the uh, high standards that the squad sets when a, when a draw feels like a, feels like a defeat. Absolutely, you know, uh, at the foot of the table, you pick up a point, you know, it's a good point because majority of the times the teams around you will be losing and that's why they're down there. When you're at the top, the reason why you're at the top is because you're winning games back to back, unbeaten runs and stuff like this. So, you know, it only goes to show over uh, the new year where we drew two on the bounce and all of a sudden it flips again. So uh, we need to just concentrate game by game and, you know, we go into every game with a positive mentality and we, we go to win, whether that's home or away, it doesn't matter about who we're playing. And it's uh, vital that we keep picking up three points. Yeah, I mean, do you enjoy sort of playing in, in a team at, at the top of the league? Is that, that pressure there that you absolutely can't make in the table because you know that other teams around you could well take advantage of that? Oh, absolutely. You know, we're in a sport where there's high pressure all the time. You know, there's pressure in training to perform well, there's pressure on a match day to perform well and, and win points. You know, uh, I don't think you play a professional sport to play it with ease, do you know what I mean? You enjoy that pressure, you know, we've been built on it for many years, you know, a lot of the senior lads have, have played football for, you know, 14, 15 years and, you know, if you can't deal with that type of pressure, then then you won't be in the game long, so it's it's vitally important to bring the best out of people. Um, you've got to be mentally strong, physically strong, um, so yeah, uh, pressure can only bring good things for me as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Uh, very finally, uh, Connell, uh, 100 big starts for Notts um, uh, last night. How's the club changed, do you feel, in, uh, in that time? Um, I, f I feel that the club has always been a, a, you know, a big club and we've always been fighting to be up there in, in the league and stuff. You know, I've, I'm, this is my third manager that I've played under now and, you know, we've progressed as a club um, on and off the pitch as well with the owners as well, which is another big thing. Uh, the staff behind the scenes. So it, it's come on leaps and bounds behind the scenes since the new owners came in. Um, obviously, you can see this year that we are a different animal and credit where credit's due to the gaffer, you know, we are the players, but without that structure and without that um, drive that comes from him because he is the tip of the spear, um, you really don't get that. So, you know, it, it, 
it's nice to have progressed from when I first signed to now to be in the point where we can go and achieve what, what I set out to achieve when I first signed here, which was to help the club get back to the Football League. Um, as for me, on a, on a personal level, you know, um, I said when I signed here, I wanted to rack up as, as many games as I could. I wanted to leave a little bit of a legacy in, in the vast history that the club has got and to make 100 league appearances, you know what I mean? I think I'm maybe on 138 in total. I'd like to try and reach my 150 for the club this season and hopefully, you know, in the summer, maybe stay and, and start edging towards that 200, 250 mark. Yeah, let's hope so. Appreciate your time, Connell, uh, as always, and all the best of Saturday. Thank you very Thanks much. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Hi, Connell. Uh, I just wanted to touch on the in, the latest injury that you've had, obviously, returned yeah. now and started the last three games. Um, but was this latest period on the sidelines the toughest that you've had to overcome so far this season, given the fact that there's been such a, a massive amount of games and the mm -hmm. importance of them as well? It's, it's, it's always very frustrating as a player to to not be involved and not be able to contribute to the team when you're on the sidelines. Um, it has been a frustrating season for me through injury. You know, I had a, a freak injury at the start of the season, pre-season. I came back, I, I thought I started pre-season really well and I was really looking forward to obviously playing under the new gaffer. Um, so I kind of got my head down early doors with that one and I made sure I'd come for that one. And then obviously I've picked up another freak one in training, which was... Uh, an internal bleed on my lower calf, um, which it, it just can't be helped. It just happens, you know what I mean? And collisions and stuff, you know, we train at a very high standard. So, but like you say, it has been frustrating. But for myself, like, I don't cut corners when it comes to rehab and coming back because it just takes you longer to get back within the fold and stuff. You know, you've really got to work hard. It is a lonely place at times. But on the flip side of that, you know, we've got really, really good staff at the club. You know, you've got Craig, Jane, the physios, you've got uh, Ian, who's the strength and conditioning coach. And I've got to give them a lot, a lot of credit this season for myself to put me in a position where I've come back from two longish term injuries to be able to come straight back in and perform at such a high level so quickly. So, you know, I, I've spoke to them behind the scenes and said, you know, I, I really thank them for, for what they've done for me this year. I spoke to the gaffer after the game uh, yesterday and I noticed that um, at half-time you came out a good five, ten minutes before <clears> the players. <throat> so obviously he said what he wants to say and then left. Mm -hmm. Is that what actually goes on in the dressing room after that? Do the experienced players take over and talk to the team? Just what goes on in the dressing room? Yeah, so obviously you come in initially and, and you know, you're having conversations with the lads, you know, and we're talking about what we can do better and how we can adjust the game to swing it back in our favour. Obviously the gaffer comes in then and lads sit down, they listen, he comes in with tactical stuff. Um, also, you know, like you said the other night, we weren't at it. And if you're not at it in any job, you're going to be told by your boss. It's as, it's as simple as that. And um, that's his job to motivate and and bring a reaction out, out of the lads. Um, it doesn't have to be long. It can be very short, straight to the point. And the gaffer is like that. You know, he doesn't beat around the bush. He knows what he wants. So uh, when we slip the standards that we've set for ourselves this season, you know, he will come for us. But it's never screaming and shouting. It's nothing like that. It's it's very to the point and it's it's helpful. And it's, it's just a good way of, you know, getting the lads going again at half time and when we really needed it. Obviously, he'll leave the change room after that and then senior lads will speak. Lads who play in positions with each other will have a conversation of how they can link up better and stuff like that. So it's it's very in-depth, but it's needed at the time to, to get a reaction and, and get us playing better for the second half. And then just a word on the 894 travelling mm -hmm. fans that made the trip to Solihull yesterday. They, they almost seemed to drag the ball towards the goal at the time and provided real encouragement um, as the game went on. How important are they going to be for the remaining games of the season? Yeah, they, they, they've been brilliant. Like you, obviously, you say you, you you come out of the out of the tunnel and you and you see one stand completely packed, and then obviously the other little segregated bit that they had. And you you know it, it's really important for us players to understand that we need to give back to these fans that give up their nights midweek and come. And it's it's not the warmest and it's it's not the nicest place to go. And they come like you say we're nearly at a thousand on the way night on a Tuesday. Um, so, you know, a lot of gratitude and a lot of thanks to the fans because they are our 12th man. They always have been since I've been here. They always will be. Um, 
so it, it's just a credit to them for coming out and supporting us the way they have done and hopefully we can give them something back for the rest of the season that they can really you know shout about and then just finally <clears throat> obviously looking ahead to this week and um, in the reverse fixture it was a pretty comfortable 4-0 win but I think anything would be but comfortable this weekend what are you expecting from the trip down to Torquay? Uh, yeah, I expect a very tough game. Um, there are always tough games down there. I don't think we've ever been down there since I've been at the club and it's it's been a walkover at all. Um, obviously, Gary Johnson gets them well drilled. They are a, a good side at home. And we know as a team now and as a club that everywhere we go now, it's a big scalp for the team. Um, it's no disrespect to the other teams, but other teams do give that extra 10% against us. We can feel it on the pitch. You know, they, they work extra behind the scenes with their game plan, with their preparation, because they know Knox County are coming uh, on the weekend. So it's um, it's one of them ones, but we've got to deal with that. Um, we'll be going down there with respect for them as a football club and, and what they bring to the table, but we will definitely be looking to go down there and get the three points. Perfect. Thanks for your time, Connor. Cheers, mate. Finally, Jake. Thank you very much. Hi, Connor. How are you? Hi, bud. You okay? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, just a few follow-up questions from me more than anything else. Yeah. Um, you mentioned a few moments ago about really developing the technical side of your mm -hmm. your game this season under Luke Williams. I'm just um, interested to know if that's an aspect of the game you've really enjoyed working on and what do you feel are some of the attributes of your game that have improved as a result of that? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I think, you know, I've been very good at in my career of like, I've never kind of gone backwards. I've always known what I needed to work on and... Uh, you, you, your strengths are one thing and you always have to keep working on your strengths but your weaknesses you've got to be able to put yourself in positions vulnerability to to be able to make mistakes and learn and and progress as a footballer and you know the gaffer came in straight away with a lot of um encouragement um we're not afraid to make mistakes here you know we want to play to a game plan and and, and we will stick to it um and like you say just the sessions that the likes of ryan harley puts on for instance uh great footballer do you know what I mean? Really good footballer for me. He could still actually play like you want to see him in training. He's he's unbelievable. But just being in and around that type of assistant when he's taking us with the passing drills and the and the touches and the half touches and stuff like that, it's it's been real eye opener for me and it's something that I've just threw myself in altogether to try and get better at and I can see it as a player in myself and hopefully the fans can see it as well. That it's brought me along leaps and bounds. And as well as uh, yourself and the focus on that, that passing the movement and the touch and things yeah. like that, is that what is that what's been key to not kind of getting it so right so often this season? Absolutely, I, you know I'm a big believer in repetition when it comes to football. If you practice something enough, you'll naturally get better at it. Um, and we we hammer that type of stuff in training. You know the eleven v eleven stuff, um, rotations and stuff like this, passing drills, um, very very well um, organized training sessions to fit in with how we want to play on a Saturday, which which is ideal, you know, everything's thought about in depth and it's looked into to know how we can go into a pitch on a Saturday and just implement it without even thinking. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been really good this season. I've really enjoyed my time playing under the gaffer and uh, Ryan. Great stuff. And, and you also mentioned, of course, you know, that the aim from there is to go on and make, you know, hit the 200 appearance mark for knots and 150 mm -hmm. league appearances and that sort of thing. It very much sounds like you see um, your your future here in Notts County for, for quite a while. Absolutely, it's it's a club that you know I've I've really bought into and I feel like they've bought into me. Um, I've got a real close affiliation with the club, um, not just on the pitch but you know behind the scenes and stuff. Um, I've really fell in love with the club. To be honest with you, the city, you know, the fan base. It's 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 been a really enjoyable four seasons so far for me and. Um, for me, you know, they'll have to drag me out the door before I want to leave, kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? It's it's uh, it's that type of club for me, and I'd love to stay on in the summer and and progress and and help the club go even further again and and really lay down some roots here for for years to come. Yeah.